Wanna be gangster, tryna play hard. <gasps> Good morning, it's game day baby, let's go. It's about 9am, um, I love sleeping on game day. Make the most of your sleep, have a good rest, get your eight hours. Now I prepare on game day, um, get up straight to the shower, put the tunes on, get the good vibes going, you know. Um, always start with a bit of country, so let's go through my playlist and have a look, see what we can do. Just finished brekkie, still got my coffee here. Um, yeah, I love having two bacon egg wraps on game day. A little bit of avo on one of them with a hash brown. Bigger breakfast, so uh, don't eat lunch. Don't like eating too close to the game, so I don't know if you need little puppies at the back. We've got like 11 pups at the back, so. I'll take you out and have a look in a minute. Feeling pretty good today. Finish off this coffee, do some dishes, uh, and then get, get stuck in a little bit of prep. We always seem to play Swan Districts at Bassendine, and it's always wet, raining. Their ground doesn't quite hold up, as well as ours. Here the pups I'm talking about. A couple to sell, so if you want one, let me know. A little bit of clouds around, yeah, so might be a wet day at the office today. Hopefully not too wet, um, but yeah, we'll see how we go. All packed, ready to go. Chair for Moonal. Let's go, Swan Districts, baby. Weather's um, clearing up a little bit by the looks. Let's hope it stays that way. How's your leg feeling today, mate? Not playing, obviously. Nah, uh, it's not too bad today. Getting better. Getting Hopefully. better. What have you done? Hammy or something? Hamstring. Hamstring. No good. Wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. Well, hopefully you're back out there soon. We're about to drive. 20 minute drive to Swan Districts, uh, crank some tunes, so let's go baby. Big boy to go, whack, clack. Here we go baby, feeling pretty pumped right now. Chicago Bulls theme song just pumping in my ears. Here's their gate entrance, 20 bucks a ticket. Or 18 if you buy it online for an adult. Kids go free and you get your waffle player pass. Get you straight in the gate. Quick hello to my baby niece watching her dad stubber play. Hopefully he can get a get a league gig soon and put some good performances together. Boys all sitting down in the dugout here just getting ready for the game. Love my tipper socks. Wear them to every game. Haven't done it this year until today because they were getting a bit old but I had to bring him back. And I love getting to the game about two and a half hours early, watch the start of the resis, get out to the huddle, give them some advice, um, talk to some of the boys, help them through through a few areas. And then half time we're out, having a kick, a little bit of a warm up, uh, a few shots on goal, getting ready to go. Kick a couple snags before first bounce and make sure you finish with a goal so you're feeling pretty good about your kicking. And it's show time, baby. Starting in the middle this week, good way to get in the game, get your hands on the footy. Luckily it bobbles out and uh, get the first clearance of the game, but man, it goes straight down the throat of the 280 game veteran. They got the first forward 50 entry of the day, but our defence was able to stand strong and we were able to work it out to the, the wing and then I'm in the middle here just all by myself. Don't know where my opponent was, but able to get on the end of it and runner comes past and give off the hands and hopefully put us away and go the weather just changed dramatically in the space of 30 seconds and pouring rain and the wind picked up even more. But we were able to slug it out for the first eight minutes. No one's able to score. And um, here we got Clarkie taking the game on, banging it long, straight to the skipper. Takes a great mark, running back with the flight. And I take credit for his run up because he's normally a defender. But look at that little skip, put it out for the wind. Bang! Come on, first goal of the game. Demons are on the board first. We started pretty well and the boys were real good here with clean hands in the wet. Banged it into the centre and poor Dan just gets run through here. Lucky the old mate didn't take his ribs out because he could have actually broke them in half there. Um, and Chuck gets it back, great spread from the stoppage and he just misses. Now Tomo just missed the goal but watch this play here. Mate, he's a beast, look at that. Breaks the tackle, 
gets it going forward. Two on two battle here in this marking contest. Quartermain, not held. Stubbs, goal! Brilliant. The Demons get a third. It's a great contest by Big H. Brings the ball to ground. I was front and centre. Quick little left foot snap. Stubber goes bang. Good to get on the board early and get going. Whenever we play Swans, they've always got a big crowd, eh? Um, the weather today was, wasn't great, but they were still showing up. Full voice and they love a chat. Quarter time, we're in front. We didn't quite make the most of the breeze. Would have been nice to kick a couple more, but that's footy. React a little bit quicker when they win the ball. Keep pressing them, right. Keep pressing right. them as well. And make sure we're going 1v1 one, right. one one, with too many times we were 2 on 1 there. Harry, great, great, great contest in, the, in yeah. the marking. Result is Sammy. Good, good yeah. snap at front and centre. Right? Well done, guys. What we need. Second quarter, we're going against the breeze now, so it's going to be pretty hard to score up the other end. But look at this from Simo, great front and centre. Got the fend, get the ball going forward, and this is just a perfect scrap play. Um, just getting the ball going forward against the wind, competing hard, getting the ball going, making the most of the opportunities, and it doesn't have to always be pretty, but if you can get the ball down there, we're lucky enough to get a free kick here. Front on contact, and then Sink Skipper picks it up here. Takes the advantage, very lucky not to be touched, but uh, as long as we get the goal, it's all right. Back in the middle, I'm at the centre bounce again. I got to attend a few, which is great. Get a part of the game, lay a tackle, put some pressure on, try to get the ball going our way. We fight and scrap here and Tails get it going forward. Slips through a couple and I was able to run away with it, bang it forward. Breeze held it up a bit and old mate dropped off and Simo with another great front and centre crumb but we weren't able to get a score. And then ended the quarter with a big scrap here. There's an incident happened down on the boundary and, you know, boys got to fly the flag, stick up for each other. And, um, yeah, it was, it was on. Bust about what's happening behind him. There's uh, his sort of second man in effort there. It was really... Obviously, a lot of feeling between the sides. But for the boys not involved, play was going on and they almost kicked one. We luckily just touched on the line and half-time siren and she was on again. The importance of this game because as Tice mentioned, it mean, means a lot to these guys. And a lot happening at centre-half forward. Tarks is fighting three on one over here, so I had to come in, give a bit of push and shove, stop these blokes, get them back to their huddle. Can't afford to get a suspension and hurt the team. A lot of feeling in this one. Boys are walking off pretty annoyed, frustrated. They were getting a few calls from the umpires, um, which didn't help. But we had to go in, reset, come out and try to use the wind to the best of our ability. <music> Burners won their last two best and first, so pretty good player and he caught the tag on the day. Second half, back in the middle. Almost got the clearance here. Ball bobbles around a bit, able to pick it up because it's pretty slippery in there and just can't quite get it to boot. We've got the breeze in our back, so we need to try and make the most of it and peg back this lead. Scrappy first five, no one's scored yet. We do well here, get it going forward, get a good opportunity. Sinkers gets it, handballs to myself, handball off the Dens and away Dens goes. Clarky, look at this effort, just sprinting, beating two opponents to the ball. Doesn't quite pick it up, but still fighting. Watch Simo here, comes up high half forward, stays involved. His man drops it, picks it up, inside 50 for us. Not pretty, but we'll reset. Ball gets thrown in, and Big H takes it out of the ruck, gives a quick hands, I snap it, but just wrong side of the post with that wind. Um, pretty strong breeze and never really looked likely. Simo just scrapping, breaking a tackle, gets tripped, picks it up to Eath, the debutante, gives it off to Chuck, and Chuck runs in, takes advantage. And that's exactly what you could do with the wind. Just put it out there, let it bring it back, and bang. Gives us a bit of life and gets us going. My opponent's a bit too worried about me, not the footy, and old mate comes in, clips me high, get a shot on goal. Now, this is right in front of their supporters, their members. Um, they're ripping into me. They've got this big, big, annoying horn that they're playing, so that's going. Tick tock this, tick tock that. All different comments coming from over the fence. And all I'm thinking is head down, kick through it. Put it straight through, nice out, out to the right for the wind, let it come back. He has a bit of a feel for the breeze as he comes in, he's got one, he's now got two, and the Demons have back-to-back -back goals. Stubber goes bang, baby, nothing better. Drilling the goal right in front of their supporters and letting them know about it. Basically, the next play, Ozzy out of stoppage, gives it to Clarkey. Clarkey drives his legs, bangs it long with the wind. And carry. That's Jai Clark. And here's our man. 
had my defender over the back, one on one, bit of body work, push him out the way and get to go back and have a crack for me third. So they get another one and they give themselves a chance at three quarter time. I hope he kicks the goal just to see if there's a celebration on the back end of it. That's roughly the view, little sidestep, kick, coming back, judges it to a nicety. Trying to implore Perth to get back into this game. Here's a replay, good bit of connection between kicker and forward. Body out, protect the ball drop, take the mark, go back, kick the goal. Adrenaline's absolutely pumping at the moment and, um, yeah, very excited up and about and boys are back in it. Now, we're on a charge here, so boundary throw in back flank. Cooley gets a clearance, knocks it over the back with the breeze, takes it long. One-on-one, -on -one, body my opponent, pick it up, bang it in long. Unfortunately, H slipped over, and my kick probably was just to the wrong side. A bit of miscommunication, but we got ground territory. They win the tap. Lucky shark it. Snap on the left. Thought it was going to come back with a win, but wind pushed it across the face. And, um, yeah, another boundary throw. At least we got the territory late in the quarter. We're really on a charge here, and if we could sneak one more, it'd be lovely going into three-quarter time. Boundary throwing comes in. Sinks gets it. Now, is this holding the ball or not? Not really sure. Um, breaks a tackle, but gets it, keeps it alive. What do you What do you think? You'll be the judge at home. They go down the other end, get a rush behind. Avo kicks out. He's been huge for us all year. Could have been holding a man, I reckon. Um, anyways, I caught one eye here, and it's late in the quarter, so I'm just holding the footy in. Umpy plays holding the ball. Um, my head is absolutely ringing at the moment. Got a whack to the head, and Umpy goes... You alright, mate? I said, no, nah, mate. I'm not alright. He just whacked me in the head, mate. Anyways, they get the free kick, kick it inside, get a shot on goal, kick a point, luckily, and boys regroup, ready to go again against the breeze, going to be up against it. Hard enough scoring all day, let alone scoring into the breeze, so, um, yeah, see if we can run over the top of them, just getting all the boys up and about, and ball up to start the last. They get the tap down. I go to pick it up, trip in the mud, Luckily, Cheese collects it, picks it up. Chuck bangs it forward. We just weren't able to compete and force this one to ground. They get the ball running in forward. Um, their crowd absolutely loses it here because we get a high tackle. Like, look at that, easily high. They're going off. At the end of the day, they had way more free kicks than us, So, but they were feeling very hard done by there. Looks like a free kick to me. Another great play here. Simo again, look at that. Front and centre, bang. Gives a fend, gets it going forward. I run up, two on one. Competing hard. Get the tackle, just hold it in. Just got to hold him here, not let him out. He fumbles, we pick it up, and we're off. Regs is running off. Bangs it forward. Not the greatest kick, but H is there, puts on some pressure. And look who it is again. Simo, mate, what an effort. Takes a mark, plays on, composed, bang, hits up Jarks. That was a big-time play going forward. Everyone involved there. Everyone played a part. Jax goes back and goes bang. Five, he nails it, and the Demons have the belief. Now, this is a big play. Young Daniel Hill out on Jared Cameron, ex-AFL player. Wins a one-on-one -on -one contest, runs, bangs it long, and gets it going our way. Boys ahead of the footy just scrap. We just got to hold it up forward here. Do anything we can, really. Just keep the ball in our territory. Nearly a free, not quite. That's a free any day of the week. Hilly gets a kick, goes back. We just don't capitalise on it. They get the ball going down forward. Still seven-point game. Banging in long. And look who's full back. Me. Stuck on old mate. He come on from the bench and I had to just run with him. Lucky Avo dropped back. Helped me out. He's been huge for us. And Hilly finds sinkers. Now, we're not quite out of jail just yet. Still about five, six minutes left. Old mate gets a little mark here. Goes back, has a shot. Make the distance with the breeze. No, they've marked it on the line. Runs around, bangs it home, one point game, sheesh. Swans are within a kick. Back to the middle we go, crucial clearance here. Cooley gets it, gets it to Dad's on the left, bangs it forward, could have been a hold. Jarks flying through, takes a mark. Now we're trying to find a mark here, we bang it in long. Good spoil, comes to ground, sinks, follows up, handballs into me. I jump and get a bit quick feed back. Just goes to ground, but we're able to set up and get a stoppage. Chew off a little bit of time, but they go down the other end, kick this one, and it falls short. Not sure how. Falls short. We rush it over. 
Gee, mate. Tied game. Tied game. Must be a minute or two to go. Now this is tense. Everything is crucial. Get the ball here. Just hold it in. Get a repeat stoppage. Surely there's not long to go. We've got to try to get the ball going our way. No one knows how much time's left, but it's probably only 20 seconds. So here we go. Hard after the clearance. Thompson charges after it. Turner's got him. Now McLaughlin. Hang on. Wasn't that a throw? Humphreys, the youngster, going long inside 50. Edwards. Cameron, was he taken high? Yes, free kick. Oh, it has it a guess. And oh, play the siren. That he did. Well. Was it a throw? Was it a duck? I don't know. You let me know. Bits to the free kick. So Jared Cameron coming in from 30 metres out directly in front. Any score will do. Swan Districts have... Let's have another look at that. Does he drop? Is it head high? What do you think? Big call either way. But that's footy. Shake hands, walk off. Good game. Probably game of the year. It sucks we didn't get over the line, but probably a good game to watch for spectators. Obviously not for our fans. Uh, pretty disappointed. Kick. But Perth lose no admirers. <sighs> well... Loss after the siren. Jared Cameron kicks the goal. Free kick, 25-15 out really, right in front. Can't do much about that. Pretty flat. Very flat actually. One of the worst ways to lose probably. Um, we gave ourselves every chance to get the win. We'll review it and have a look. There's a couple of crucial moments where we yeah, need to learn and get better at. We just weren't good enough, but We'll be better off for the for the experience and you know we're still young and still growing so yes yeah, as, as much as it sucks right now six day break we'll hit the track and get back into it and um yeah be ready to go next week so building each week pretty flat but we will be right time to head home have a feed get ready monday tomorrow stubber Out.